small and crushed sadder like evening were refused. He thought it might have been his tone of voice or the words he chose to use. Over this and other possibilities he perused, but he could not see the problem and he could not see the use. Hey! Of going through the trouble and trying to find his feet and make you certain strangers and feet. Laws he tried to beat, but he could not make him listen, and he could not make him see. And when they sent us free, oh, I did a closing for him not to go, but to see. You'll hear their aching conscience He's old enough, and he's smart. Not to go in his own goddamn way. Alright, thank you so much for tuning in to Live with Kenny and Vinny for the show March 30, 2010. I'm Vinny Stefano. And I'm Kenny McGraw. We have a fantastic show lined up for you guys tonight. That's right, we have Mr. George Lord on from the Tons River Angels Football and Cheerleaders Association. And a very good friend of ours and a special guest tonight, Jason Arlano. That's right, and he's coming all the way from the Culinary Institute of America, so we'll have him on a little later. But first... We have uh, a couple segments to do, a couple videos, our live calls, as always, 732-506-9311. And the text connect. If you have Modern Vin's number, please give us a text, and we will read your text live on air. But first, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. We will be right back with Live with Kenny and Vinny after a short, short word from our sponsors. Oh, hello. Welcome back to Live with Kenny and Vinny. I'm Kenny McGraw. Just a reminder that we are taking live calls, 732-506-9311, or hit us up on the text connect. But right now, we're going to go straight to Vinny DiStefano with the Italian Word of the Week. Hey, Vin, what's the Italian Word of the Week? Thanks, Ken. The Italian Word of the Week is scongili, and this means a large snail. Now, you can use this in, um, you can use this in chilled in a salad, or you can use it hot in marinara sauce. If you want to use it in a sentence, you can say, Oh, look at this scongili. Get over here. And that's the Italian word of the week. Back to you, Ken. Thanks, Goomba. My mouth's watering thinking of that sauced snail. <laughs> 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 so what's in the news today, Ken? Oh, nothing. Nothing important. All right, nothing's in the news. Nothing important. <laughs> We're going to go C-SPAN. We're going to go to our first video for this evening. Why don't you explain to them what that is? Well, it was done for a school project. Not for me, not for Vin, but for two of our good friends, Tyler Sicardo and Dave Jordan. And this is a spoof on actually one of the most popular movies to date, yeah. Twilight. Well, so, uh, wait, Preteens, teenagers, and women up to the age of 40, please calm down when you see this movie. That's right. a, well, it's a preview. It's, it's a preview, very short, yeah. but uh, we hope you enjoy it, and we'll be right back. I don't want to work. I'm a DJ. Looking for a tan, hot, juiced guido. Yeah, we smushed. My mama's boy, you know? Yeah. Everybody loves me. Babies, dogs, girls. I'm having fun. I'm Stan the Bagel King. And I'm Maxine the Bagel Queen. And we're at Bayside Bagels in Tom's River. And you're, you're watching, watching Tom's, Tom's River. River. TV. TV. And we are back to Live with Kenny and Vinny. That was a little mix-up on our part. That was actually the Jersey Shore opening, which we were going to show later in the show. So we will show the Twilight in place of that, where that was supposed to go, and uh, everything will be cleared up. Yeah. But we are here with... He's here. He's right? finally here. Mr. Coach George. George Lord from the uh, Towns River Football... Towns River Angels Football and Cheerleading Association. Yes. How are you doing? Hey, thank yes. you for having me, guys. Thank, thank you for so, so many of the good years when I used to do Angels Cheer. You did? No. <laughs> I actually played um, 
I played in second grade. I had to lose ten, 15 pounds to make it for the cutoff. And uh, I finally made it, and I lasted two days, and I quit. <laughs> but that was it. That was it? Yeah, I couldn't do it. You, you had me running too much. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on tonight. I did. Thank you. I did more manly sport. I did theater. Oh, did you? Yeah. You get hurt in that, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what brings you on the show tonight? Um, I just wanted to talk to everybody about uh, our first uh, open registration, uh, which is open to all uh, residents in the high school East area. Okay. And uh, it's ages uh, 5 uh, to 15, boys and girls. Um, we have an excellent football program, and we have an excellent uh, cheer program. Now, so, um, okay. when you say the the high school is like area, well, what does that cut off at? Um, it's usually um, uh, where I, whoever could uh, attend high school East so would that that would be the Angels uh, territory. There's three okay. uh, three Pop Warner uh, teams in Towns River, and uh, the Angels uh, covers uh, the high school East area. Okay, perfect. So, thank you. And what uh, what days is that again? Um, April eighth is our first registration. It's going to be uh, at East Dover Elementary. Uh, cafeteria. It's uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. Um, you have to bring a birth certificate, uh, a current picture, and our registration fee is uh, 150 for the first child, 50 for uh, the second, and the third one's free. Mm -hmm. You have more than wow. uh, yeah. What a deal. Yeah, what a deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And for our flag and our flag program cheer and uh, football is uh, only 75. All right. So Not bad. So it's the same thing applies for cheer and football. You need a picture, yes. birth certificate. You need a picture, a birth certificate, and uh, uh, just a cash or uh, money order. And that, that's the first one. And then there's more. There's more yes, we're going to have uh, our second one's going to be April fifteenth, the same air, uh, same location. Okay. And our third one's going to be May twentieth. Uh, all at our uh, our location is East Over Elementary. That's where we practice, and uh, that's where we have our field house, and uh, that's where all the girls practice inside the gym. Perfect. What date is that? Um, do you guys actually start practicing? Once uh, you're it's up? August first is the first practice. Okay. Uh, it's a Sunday. She's probably going to be August second, but technically, uh, Pop Warner rules you have to wait till uh, August first to start practice. Hmm. Okay. So. Sounds like fun. Are you excited for this upcoming season? I can't wait. Uh, the girls uh, went down to Florida. The, our midget girls went down to Florida this year. They took third place. They did a great job. Um, two, uh, three of our football teams made the playoffs. Wow. Um, our f uh, midget football team. Um, Played Asbury Park in the playoffs, and we're beating Asbury eight nothing at halftime. That team actually came back and beat them uh, uh, in the second half. But that Asbury team went all the way to Florida, so our our midget <laughs> team did a great job this year. Right. So. And I noticed that you know they didn't want to come on the show, but you have uh, a few midgets here with you today, right? Uh, no, they're actually Pee Wee girls. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm kind of tall. They look like yeah. just from my height. Yeah, um, they're Pee Wee girls. You guys uh, come on. You want to come say hi? No. All right. Great. My daughter uh, Emily and her friend Haley are here. Come on. I don't want to come on. Can't stop haggling. Um, right, mind, two years sorry. ago, they were down in Florida as junior Pee Wees and they won national championships. Wow! Congratulations, so, yeah. guys. Let's clap it up for them. <laughs> um, the Tom's River Angels uh, have uh, 13 national championships. Uh, they are tied with the most uh, out of uh, any uh, Pop Warner program in the whole country. Wow. wow. So cheerleading is very big in New Jersey, uh, and especially down in Florida. Uh, are hoping of... to go for that 14th this year? Trying. We're trying. We thought we were going to get it this year, uh, this past season, but we didn't get it. We came up a little short, but hopefully we could get a couple more teams down here and uh, uh, bring a couple more championships home to Tom's River. Best of luck to you girls this upcoming season. Now, are you expecting, like, a? I think someone had mentioned to me the other day that Intermediate East is getting rid of their, their athletic program? Um, I heard they were uh, with budget cuts and everything. They might get rid of their sports programs, but it's they didn't have – yes, it is a shame. shame. Um, but they didn't have football. They had football a couple of years ago, and it really didn't go so well. Mm -hmm. So um, most of the majority of those kids played for the Angels. Right. So – so now that they're not going to have it, you're expecting pro maybe at least a little bit more coming. I would from hope. Way, yeah. yeah, I would hope that we get a. You know, football uh, is a. You know, it's a good, very big sport in uh, this area, and uh, we have the three football. We have three pop Warner programs, so we're you know each uh, each section uh, gets a good amount of kids. To come Perfect. Out. Well, Beautiful. you guys heard it right here from George Mr. George Lord. Lord, the president of Tom's River Angels Football and Cheerleading Association. Thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you very much. Thank you, luck with this Kenny, thank you very season. much. Best of luck this upcoming season. Hopefully you bring home that 14th title. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go to a short commercial break. We'll be right back with Live with Kenny and Vinny. Stay with us.